everybody and welcome back to our channel. Hello everyone. T today's a Friday review at 5, which we are going to do all our reviews at 5 o'clock on a Friday. For those who don't want to watch, you haven't got it. No. But we wish it's you would. It's as easy as that. Yes, we do. We do we only, you do. Yeah, we only review things which we think are beneficial, beneficial to you. That's correct. Yeah, so today we're going to do the Afri's 2400 watt portable power station. And what an amazing bit of kit this one is. I mean, Can I just say the power it's got? Go on then. For the, for the size of the thing, and it weighs what? 22 kilos. Yeah. So it's, it's not. It's pretty I impressive. Mean, I've actually been lifting it around today, so yeah. I can do it. It's got two great handles there, moulded in, so you can, you know, carry yeah. it about or whatever, you, wherever you want to put it. It is. Which makes it easy. Yeah, and it is very well made because yeah. it's not it hasn't got external handles that could come loose or anything. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice shape, you know. You can put somewhere because the fans are on the side. So you can put it flat up against the wall or something, which makes it uh, pretty good, yep. storable. The capacity of this is 2,400 watts, but it's got a surge of 4,000. So that's, right. it is really, really pretty impressive for yeah. something that only weighs 22 kilos. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, also on top, it's got a cracking little storage box. We've yeah. got the solar panel lead in there now, you can put whatever you want it's in there. It's ideal to charge, keep your phone chargers, yeah. anything like watch chargers, anything like that in there, so they're all handy. Yeah, your fans are on the side, that side, and, sorry about the noise, <laughs> and on that side there, yeah. do you want to go for the ports on that side? Okay, we will. So we'll... just go on then, lean over the table. Yeah, I know, but it's not facing the camera. Shut up, Robert. So on this side you have got the overload protection button so if you trip it out you just press that. You've got your port for the kettle lead and a port for the XT90. So on this side you've got your AC button there to operate your three AC ports on that side. Right so let's go through the ports on the front. So you've got your cigarette one there, you've got an XT60 output Still trying to find out what that actually uh, can power. Somebody said diesel heat, not too sure. You've got two hey, DC, yeah, two DC ports there. Then you've got two USBs and one, two, three, four USB Cs, which is brilliant. This is what we need now, USB Cs. Um, and then you've got a light. But what I'll do now is power it on and show you the amazing screen. Look at that. How clear and large is that? Yeah, let me zoom in a bit. I'm up the wrong way. Yeah, the screen is pretty good, to be honest. It's uh, it's <coughs> it's the best screen on any of the power stations that we've seen. Yeah, point out what it does on it, the outputs. And so, yeah, on there you've got, well, obviously 100%, we've charged it up on solar. Uh, you've got there your time remaining, where at the moment, obviously, it's full 99 hours and then your output there. So when you put your USB on, you'll see USB light up there. And if you put your AC on there, you see there, that's your AC. Perfect. Absolutely awesome. So now we're gonna see what we can power with uh, it. Just before we uh, see what it can power, if we could trip it out, because we like doing that. We do. <laughs> we'll Lynn will read you a few specs out on it. Yeah, I mean, it's pure sine wave. Your output's uh, 240, as always. Um, so it is. The model is the AFP200, 2400 watt portable power station. Battery capacity is 2048 watt hours. Happy with that. Um, AC charge, 1100 watts. Maximum 220 to 240 volts, 60 to six, 50 to 60 HZ. Not too sure what that is. I'm sure you lot know. Um, then you've got your USB A's, your 18 watt, USB C's, a 20 watt, and you've also got a USB C 100 watt. Uh, output again, like I said about the XT60, that's 12 volt. All this amp. is written on the back, by the way. It is. Uh, your DC is a 12 volt output. You've got the car port output, 12 volt, 10 amp. LED, we never mentioned the light. Um, yeah, so let's just have a look at this light, which is Let me, uh, there, quite a bright go. light, so that's good. It's got an SOS on it, yeah, SOS, faster one, 
and off. So yeah. And it also comes with this great Afri bag. Waterproof. Oh, that's a definitely a better look, isn't it? And it also comes I with... Say, the bags are great because it keeps all the dust off. I've always liked the bags. It keeps all the dust off it. It's a tight fit. It is a tight fit. But it does go on, I assure you. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. And it, all, it also comes with a handy little bag for any of your cables. I mean, in here at the moment, we've just got the kettle yes. lead. Yeah, on these power stations, back, uh, bags do make a difference, to be honest, to keep everything in. The only downside for me is uh, you haven't got an app. It's the only one at the moment that we know that doesn't do well. The one that we one that we use doesn't have an app, which yeah. is uh, it. It's yeah, handy to it. have. It doesn't really matter. You know, with a screen that size, you can have it over the other side of the room, and you can still see what's going on. As long as it does the job, that's the main thing. Exactly. So yeah. Happy with that, folks. Let's Happy. see. Let's see what we can power. Right. The first thing I'm going to do is one of the most powerful things you will have in your kitchen, if not the most powerful thing, and that is a standard kettle. This kettle I is. I thought the microwave was the most powerful. No, that starts off at 800 watt. Oh, okay. This is 2,600 with a surge of 3,000. Yeah, okay. So if it'll power this, it's going to power anything. Yeah, we haven't tried this. No, as you can see, it's still on 100%, so yeah. let's try it. Here goes nothing. Turn the AC on, Lynn. There you go, it's on. Okay, it's taking out 2,435 watts. So... Let's see. Yeah, it's working no problem at all. Yeah, just wait for it to boil. Just make sure it does because the element's going to get hotter, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, we'll leave it on the table. As you can see, the kettle is still on, it's still boiling, it's about to, to reach boiling point because I know the sound of the kettle. So you'll see on that light there, it go off when it boils. Yeah, and it's took 2%, no, 1%, is it 2 Yeah, 2%. 3% of the power bank. You can boil it for 38 minutes apparently and it's taking out 2,419 watts. Yeah, so it's, uh, but if it can cope with a kettle, it's going to cope with your microwave. Well, you're going to get a few boils out, out with that power station, yeah. aren't you? I mean, this is a, you know, if you. It's if just you, a normal household. Yeah, yeah. If, you can, if you're camping, you wouldn't use this, but as a, a like an emergency backup, if you, you know, if your power goes down then yep. I mean that's absolutely perfect. I mean it's boiling now and it's it took out 4% out of the power bank. But the, like I said that's a 3000 watt kettle, 2600 to 3000 watt kettle so it's yeah. going to take out a hell of a lot. Yeah so you'll know people you can get a few cups of tea, coffee or whatever you want to do, pot noodles. Well you would if you had run out of coffee because I forgot to buy coffee and I've run out. Unbelievable. Yeah but there you go you can sort the kettle out. Happy with that folks? Happy! Right, the next thing I'm going to try out is something that I use all the time in here and I also take it away with us. So that's our induction hob. So I'm going to plug it in. Right, what's, so the what's the power of the induction hob? It goes up to 2,000 watts, isn't it? 2,000 watts? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to try that. Yeah. So I've got a pan of water here. Because uh, when we're away, we do use the induction hob a lot outside. You know, when the weather's nice, we use that to cook outside. And inside, I'll put it on top of the hob and yep. run it off one of these. And it's, uh, right, yep. so... I'm behind the camera, folks. Uh, function. So if I put it on to fry, that's, that's the hottest it'll go. So that's running at 2,000 watts. Yeah. And it's taking out, output is 1,500 watts. 2000, it's, it's fluctuating. So yeah, as you can see, it's running the induction hob, no problem at all. So again, yeah. it's gonna, you can boil your kettle and you can cook your food. It's taking out about 1200 watts, uh, and you can run it for 80 minutes. So if I turn that up, it's on 1800 watts. 1800 watts. Yeah. Yeah, but it is. 14, 1500 watts? Yeah, because it's reached um, 
Yeah, that yeah. water's hot. Yeah. So there you go, people. You can use an induction hob. Happy with that. Right, people. Let's try the toaster. This is a normal household toaster. It's not just normal. It's rather more powerful. Is it? Yeah. All right, then. It's a powerful toaster. Well, all toasters are, aren't they? So let's try it. Right. So that is taking out... And it's getting red hot. 1445 43 or 42 it'll run for approximately 70 minutes not that you're going to use a toaster for 70 minutes no we're just trying to show you what it can use in the a normal household so that will get you a few few uh, slices of toast well 68 minutes you out yeah yeah absolutely brilliant there you go it's still on 94 percent happy with that it's going to run for 68 minutes 67 there you brilliant go. perfect i haven't put any bread in because we've got one but there you go, you can run a toaster. Happy with that, folks? Happy. Now I'll try my hairdryer, people, because I take this everywhere with me. And it's a powerful hairdryer. It is GHD, apparently. Is yes. It? There you go. And it is a very... As I, it's, it's what I use on all yeah. of... When we do these to show, because it is the most powerful hairdryer. Yeah, so... That's on. Yeah. That's full, full power. Full power. Go up to medium heat. Medium heat. So that's taking out 1066. Full power? No, that's four heat. That's four heat. Four heat, four power. So it's taking out 2050 watts so you can dry your hair for six, oh, four hours. Four, four hours. hours. There you go. Perfect. Unbelievable. What are you like? Well, no, but you know, for that, that, to run that. Brilliant. Happy, folks. I've got my hair done now. Right, one thing I haven't done yet is take my Kasori Jewel Blaze away with us. And as you know, I do I do, do a lot of cooking. Don't listen to him half the time because he, he says I don't. But I, want, I haven't tried this, so I'm going to try it now. So turn it on. So it's 180 for 10 minutes on air fry press plate. So it's taking out 1,685. It's gonna, I'm, it's gonna run for an hour, an hour. Yeah. So could you cook a meal? And mind it's only on 92 percent. Well, that's no, that's quite high. Yeah. So you could. Cook. So for an hour, you can do. You could certainly do a bowl of chips. Well, it, not just that. You could, you could do a few things. I mean, chips will take 10 minutes. Okay. 10 12 minutes in an air fryer so you could do your omelet robert cooked a mean omelet in here the other day <laughs> he'll have to do he'll have to do it on my cooking one on a sunday um but yeah you can cook use this for an hour I'm, I'm impressed so yeah this is coming away with us now you happy with us i'm bloody happy mouth full of toast <laughs> and before we go we just like to say we always say this it's got to be a good product because they give you an extended warranty up to five years. They do. So all you have to do is scan that scan code. The, scan the QR in. code, yeah. Yeah. Happy with that? You want to add anything else? Just looking. Multiple protection, multiple protection mechanisms such as battery circuit structure, etc. Guarantee the product safety. Yeah, you get the, the manual with it, with all your how to use it. I mean... They are straight, absolutely yeah. straightforward, but yeah. Very simple to use power banks are, very simple. Yeah, great product, really good. And to charge that fantastic power bank up, people, we have been using the Afri 400 watt solar panel. This thing is amazing. Uh, I'm not going to get it out, we've all seen solar panels, but it's got leg on every panel, you know, to prop it up so you can angle it at the sun. Uh, it's got your leads inside. It takes an Anderson connection. An Anderson connection, yeah. It's also got, what are they? One your, DC, one USB-C and two USB ports. Yeah, so you can charge your phones up and you can charge things up just using the solar panel. And I'm going to pick this up so, just so you can see in there. And yes, in our opinion, a 400 watt solar panel is amazing for any power station, yes, isn't it? Any, Absolutely yes. any power station. We only now use 400 watts because they are so good. Yes. 
uh, yeah, 200 watt solar panels. They're okay. They're, they're okay. But, in that, like Lynn said, in our opinion, 400 watt solar panels. The what other way to go. Yeah, that, it really is. I mean, that that's what we use. We have one in here, one in the motorhome, and that is a cracking, cracking solar panel. Yeah. Yeah, we've always got, like Lynn said, we've always got one in our motorhome. Oh yeah, and we've always got something on charge. We know they're not cheap and we are lucky enough for people to send them us to, to review them. Yeah. But if somebody had lent me a 400 watt solar panel before we started YouTube, I would have definitely bought one of these. Yeah, we, have, we have said that so many times, yeah. haven't we? Forget the rest, get a 400 watt. 100%. Happy yeah. with that, folks? Pe Happy. People have asked us in the past, what's the best solar panel? And we always say... People are always asking us? Yeah, d don't go below 400 if you can, you know. I mean, like we, they are expensive. Which, getting on to price, um, I'm talking at the moment to Afri. I'm, well, I'm waiting for her to get back to me. At the moment, the Afri is on sale at £1,199. So one thousand two hundred, and the solar panel is at the moment five four nine instead of five nine nine. So to buy the two together is one five seven three. Um, but what I'm going to do is keep in talking with uh, Afri, and the links and everything will be in the description. And if anything is any cheaper, the discount codes will be there. So yeah, keep a look out for that. Right. Well, uh, we've come back sort of later on because we, we've got changed because we're a bit chilly anyway a bit chilly i'm missing the t-shirt yeah well i'm not you're more chilly i'm not i've had to put this over the top of my vest because i'm froze um yeah i've been in talks with afri and these now are the final prices and i think you'll agree we've got to manage to negotiate a really good discount for for all you lot yeah uh, the Afri 2400 watt portable power station with the link get an exclusive offer with a promotional code which is Rob Lynn 1031. Uh, the original price is 1199. Special final price is £1,055.12. The uh, date, the end date is the 31st of October. So that's a lot of power bank for a grand. That cracking solar panel is right so the original price is 599 the special final price is 467 467 pound 22 pence that's 22 percent off promo code is roblin 400w the end date again is the 31st of october 2023 uh, and she's also put don't forget that there's an, on amazon there's already a 10 a voucher for 10 percent off so yeah i will put all the links everything in the description and i promise you if you buy one of these you won't be disappointed the power it's got for the weight it's it is yeah what we are doing with this believe it or not we have got, actually got a 55 inch tv in the bedroom in the bedroom plugged into this and that's what we use it to power the tv and my hairdryer and my straighteners yeah. we are trying we're going to go into this a bit more at a later date yeah so this is on lynn's dressing table we power the TV so we can watch TV in bed and she uses it for hair, like she just said, hair, hair dryer and straighteners. Yeah. What, all her women things? Just the hair dryer and straighteners. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great, it really is. Yeah. yeah, so on that note we'll say our farewells. So stay safe for the caravan as motor owners tend to drift with skies on you, we still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching, we will see you on the next one. In a bit. Mm -hmm.